or as Paul says, consider how to build one another up into love and good works. It, we have been so internalized within this Christian walk. It's all about me and how do I help me be better? And how do I help me not struggle? And how do I help me pray better? And how about me, 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 me? You're missing the me part. It's we, how do we care for each other? How do we survive this pandemic? How do we survive our lack of faith? How do we survive our sin against each other? Paul says you gather and you boldly walk into his throne as those who are exposed. Not one person stands in here righteous. All of you are exposed. And when you ask for mercy in a time of need, he will give you that mercy to accomplish what he's told you to accomplish. He's not going to give you mercy for that which he said he would never give you mercy for. So many people pray for the wrong things. I'm getting on to another sermon. I, I got to save that one for later. We pray, for, we pray for things that God has never promised us. But the forgiveness of our sins and the strength to believe, he has absolutely promised to give us that. And we can do everything that he wants us to do with those two sources, mercy and grace. So church, as we gather week in and week out, my greatest desire is to change your mission. I have I'm not going to hide it. I want to change what you put your hope in. I want to change your desires. I want to show you that real hope and real satisfaction and real joy can be found when you see Christ and his people as the primary mission of your life and that your job and your family are but means to be joined into this mission. Uh, I think everybody can say we've all at some point tried the entertainment world. It doesn't satisfy. It doesn't satisfy. I mean, just the, we have a binge culture, which is interesting to me. They even advertise this, the next thing to binge. I am not here criticizing binging, okay? This is not the whole point of the sermon. But the, the, the point of it is, is that there's, there's this moment where we can detach ourselves from reality. This gathering is a moment where you get to detach yourself and be loved and cared unconditionally. And what you have or have not done will not be held against you because we all are what? Running into the presence of our Father, seeking mercy and seeking grace. And when I do not have the energy, I need you to carry me there. And when you are walking the wrong direction, we're going to run after you and try and pull you back because it is here as a gathered church that we hear of his mercy, we hear of his grace, and it is together we are strengthened. As I quote so often, I will quote and end with this. Paul says, when God's family, his body functions properly, that's where love grows. And so we can either gather together as a church and believe God's word that it is powerful and it will do what he said it will do, or we can keep doing what we've been doing. I'm asking you to join. Thank you for listening. Today's reminder is from John Moffat, pastor of Grace Reformed Church in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Everyday Grace is a listener-supported podcast. If you would like to help support our ministry, please visit theocast.org give.